Take my horse down to the water Let him graze a while Take my horse down to the water Let him graze a while I have not been down these roads Since I was a child I ain't broke and I ain't hungry But I'm close enough to care I ain't broke and I ain't hungry But I'm close enough to care Send my things to my niece Laura She'll keep up for me there Hey everybody, uh, it's Robert here. Well, we are in Oakland, California today, sunny Oakland, after a nice day off uh, in San Francisco after the Fillmore run. Uh, this will be our final stop in Northern California before we turn south and head to Los Angeles. Uh, we are at the fabulous Fox Theater here in Oakland. A uh, really beautiful old theater again. Uh, kind of fun to get in and play some of these places. I haven't done a lot of these places in a long, long time, so... Uh, really fun to get in and do some of them and kind of kind of ring it out in here, you know So big uh, big Meyer PA again today. I think we're on lion today uh, Much bigger capacity house here, obviously, but uh, I got high hopes for it. I think it's gonna go good today spent a fair amount of time just doing some housekeeping and uh, Stuff that we daily do on the console taking care of some tracks doing some tracks management, etc. So uh, as far as uh, tip and trick today, I think we're just going to outline a feature today. I'm going to take you through uh, user-defined layers uh, and show you how I'm using those to great effect on this show. Even though it's a small show, I take great advantage of that uh, user-defined layer process. All right. So enjoy some of the sights and sounds. I'll try to get some video and put it up here for you. Uh, we'll check in with you after the show. And short of that, we'll see you in Los Angeles. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so our little uh, feature highlight of the day is going to involve uh, talking about user-defined layers and how that plays in with snapshots. I'm going to show you how I take advantage of that to actually handle the fact that I have, over the course of certain songs in the set, I have five different lead singers. Uh, so I'm using snapshots not only to manage my busing and uh, routing of those each of those lead singers when they happen, but also their placement of their faders on the console. All right, so I'll get turned around here and I'll just give you a really quick example of how that's uh, how snapshots and user-defined layers are helping me with that. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so for you guys that uh, have not worked on S6L yet, uh, where we have user-defined layers that are snapshotable, maybe you've used it in S3L, but uh, we currently have layout additionally in the scope now. So as you recall uh, snapshots, if you have layout scoped in your snapshot, it will recall the last stored layout uh, within the snapshot itself. So I, as I mentioned earlier, I take advantage of this with regard to uh, how I handle lead vocals. Uh, I'm over on the right-hand side of the console, and you can see that uh, in this area, I have Tom's vocals here, vocals and his effects. And to the right of that, I actually have the backing vocalist. And I'm gonna bring your attention to this fader right here. So uh, for this given song, that is my new lead vocal position. It goes right to the right of all of Tom's stuff, kind of indicating that that's the new lead singer. At least, you know, just for me, that's where I keep, keep it in my memory. Now, as I recall the next snapshot, you'll see that that uh, fader is going to change depending on who the lead singer is. Right now we have a song up called Lover of the Bayou, uh, which actually Roger McGuinn sang for us in New York a few weeks back. So as I recall that snapshot, he comes up as the lead vocalist there. Uh, that's yeah. Roger's fader. Uh, so I'm going to recall the next snapshot, and this will be one where Randall, the drummer, is now the singer. Uh, I'm going to take it out of... 
attention so you can see it here. So that's Randall's vocal now in the lead position. Go to the next snapshot. That is Benmont's piano vocal in the lead position. And finally, Mike Campbell's vocal in the lead position for his song. Now, not only do I take advantage of the snapshot, uh, putting the fader at the top position for me so I don't have to dig down and, and do any navigation to get to it, but it also handles reassignment of those to the lead vocal subgroup. So for instance, where I have Randall, uh, Randall's vocal, if I go to his busing, you'll notice that it's in the lead vocal group, which is the LV assigned. And as I go through all the other snapshots, even though I'm changing lead vocal now, those lead vocals go to the lead group unless they're in a position where they've moved to the backing vocal group. So the lead vocal always comes up in the right group as well. So uh, it's a really handy thing. It really takes a lot of the thinking and um, you know, out of the process of finding the fader and mixing on it. Okay, so I hope you enjoy that one. Try to take advantage of user-defined layers. They are really, really powerful and make mixing large numbers of inputs actually very easy uh, on a surface like this, okay? So enjoy that, we'll see you guys later, bye-bye. All right, that'll wrap us up for Oakland at the fabulous Fox Theater. Our room came together really nice once we got full of people. Uh, the Meyer Lion system did really well tonight. It was kind of fun to mix on, got to be got to be honest. So that was very cool. The band had a really nice show tonight. Uh, a couple songs in particular were real standouts tonight. Uh, I Forgive It All was really great. Uh, the end jam at uh, Crystal River was really something. You know, Benmont and Mike. Man, those two guys. Whew. You know, lucky guy to get to mix those guys, man. Really something. At any rate. I uh, apologize for not getting any uh, console shots, uh, GoPro shots, or anything like that tonight. Somebody got distracted today and forgot to hook up the chargers for the GoPro cameras. So there you go. Sorry about that, fellas. Get you next time, though, for sure. So we're heading to Los Angeles. Uh, day off tomorrow and then a couple of nights at the Henry Fonda Theater. So uh, check in with us there try to pull together a couple of cool things for you. We're just about to wrap it up. I think we only got about four more shows to go, so I hope you're enjoying these. If you are, let me know. Uh, we'll continue these kind of things in the future and try to do some more uh, more extravagant stuff. We're, this, we're just kind of testing the waters with this, see how you guys react to it, all right? So thanks again for showing up. Uh, we'll see you later. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, right, right here, we're going to do like two minutes and 30 seconds of a really quiet song. So if you can kind of tune into this one. Ready? Take my horse down to the water Let him graze a while Take my horse down to the water Let him graze a while So I have not been down these roads Since I was a child Well I ain't broke and I ain't hungry but I'm close enough to care I ain't broke and I ain't hungry But I'm close enough to care Send my things to my niece Laura She'll keep them for me there I forgive it all I forgive it all